Hello everybody, welcome to 3D Thumping. I'm Tony. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I bring Death Reader's helmet into the real world and also share some experience that from my own projects. So, let's take a look. Before I start 3D printing, I need a 3D model. I actually have two options, I could download one from somewhere or just make one by myself. I chose to make it by myself because if I use one made by someone else and I have to make a lot of modifications, this also takes much time to do it. I collect many pictures of Darth Vader's helmet as references. The more you want the mode to look like, the more pictures you need. I use Blend to model as it's free and open source. 3D modeling is not that difficult to do. There are lots of tutorials online if you want to learn it. It doesn't require much knowledge. You just need to move those vertices, edges, or faces where you desire and observe how the result is. Check if the surface is smooth or not. This is how things mine. I print the model with Ender 3 Pro. It's a decent size to make most projects, but I want to make the helmet wearable. My need is far more than the size the printer could offer, so I have to split the model into pieces by mesh mixer. I was using the Report 6 nozzle and set the layer head at the Report 3. I don't want a perfect printing as I need to apply primer and spray on it. Adjusting the top one, look at my pool printing, it has obvious layer lines and blobs. I need to remove it with a blade. After all printing, I got much sanding work to do. I sand off the most layer lines and I glued all parts with super glue. I found the parts sometimes won't match up very well if you print them at the same time. This probably the environmental temperature causes, but it's not a big issue at all. What you need to do is that you need a qualification control, like this. My cat said, yes, so I could go on with my work. I'm happy I have part of QC. I'm inspired too much. Let me just keep busy. What? My song is broken. What a bad moment. All right, I could probably 3D print one. Let me keep going. I finished this part and I cannot wait to try it. This reminds me of how Anakin Skywalker turns into Darth Vader. Oh, come on, what an embarrassing moment. So, I have to go back to Blender to check the size of the helmet. I found I didn't put big enough to fit my head. This reminds me of how it's important to make sure everything before you start a project. Anyway, what good is that this is a good way to learn and this is a chance to reduce the mistakes you will make in the future. I continue to finish the rest of the helmet. I realized that the soldering iron is so helpful. You don't even need the super glue sometimes. You could use it to fix those uneven joints. I use it too much. Lastly, I even use it to fix the field printing part, which the printer didn't finish successfully. When I put all parts together, I'm back to sand the part again. This is time consuming and I just sand it again and again, over and over. If you could grab somebody to help, then please go and ask. You could finish the job quickly. After sanding, I applied a body filler which I bought from a local auto store. This is supposed to repair car panels, but it's also good to fill the gaps and lines of the plastic. I sanded off the excess of the filler once it's dry, and I spray the dust off, or you could just use a blower to blow the dust off. The next step is to bring in the primer. Spray evenly and please wait for the current spray is dry before you do next coat. I applied three times. It seems the object coated very well. I left that paint half day to dry completely. 
the time may vary with the manufacturer. I was using 1200 sandpapers and doing wet sanding. Just keep in mind that when you sand the primer, you don't need to put too much weight on it. You just gently sand all around the object and feel it if the surface is smooth or not. Once you are done and you are ready to color the helmet, The video is about to finish. If you want to see how the final result is, please hit the subscribe button and buy all notifications so you don't miss out on the newest videos. I'm Tony. Thank you for watching my video. Hope you enjoyed it. See you.